This is Matt Russell, and welcome to the Daily Effects Forum. Hello and welcome to the Daily Effects Forum Highlights video. I want to wish everybody a happy and healthy new year. Just scrolling through the forums tonight here on the scalping and intraday trading thread. Here's a post by Dino Stratus asking some questions. He's, he's a newer trader and he's a little bit confused in terms of fundamentals. I'll go ahead and read some of his questions. Uh, my question confusion is this. In the recent past, I believe it is generally accepted that if the USD goes up, then one can expect the euro to go down. The more I read in the past week implies that this may change. Where am I wrong? Well, it's very important to understand that currencies trade in pairs so when you're looking at the euro dollar rate that's the EUR versus the USD when you're looking at that rate if the rate is rising that means the the euro is strengthening while the USD is weakening so it, again the, the question that you ask really doesn't make sense in terms if you're looking at the euro dollar rate because something has to be happening if, if the rate is moving that means one is strengthening or the other is weakening so try and keep it simple and just focus on that fact when you're looking at that rate if it goes up that means that the euro is strengthening while the dollar is weakening if it goes down that means the US dollar is strengthening while the euro is weakening your next question here if the Dow falls then we would expect the dollar to rally the European stock markets will follow the Dow we would expect down but inflation in Germany is set to increase so this would demand a hike in, in, in interest rates so it would translate into a stronger EUR um, and then also you can argue that higher interest rates would hurt hurt the equity markets again it's th these things can be very confusing and it's, it's very important to keep in mind that uh, while some of these tendencies are true, uh, they would be true all other factors being equal. So w when you make a statement such as like a, a higher interest rates or um, in terms of the stock market, when you make the statement, let's say that the Dow falls, we would expect the dollar to rally. Yeah, maybe if all other factors are equal, but there there could be you know a myriad of other factors that are into that are going into the equation that would actually make the dollar fall. So it's very important to keep these things in mind. Personally. I, I avoid all this stuff because the market, in, in my opinion, is so far ahead of all these fundamental factors. Every, in my opinion, every conceivable fundamental factor has already been discounted, um, and that's what we're looking at. And that's why, personally, I just look at the charts, look for favorable risk reward setups because that's what the market is doing. It's looking ahead to future business conditions. It's not. It's not. It's a discounting mechanism. It's not a voting machine, and it's very important to keep that in mind. And what I would also suggest if you have questions about fundamentals, certainly go to dailyfx.com, read some of the articles on there, and within a few weeks, you know, you, you'll be an expert, if you will, uh, in terms of what's going on in the market and some explanations of certain tendencies. Speaking of favorable risk-reward trades, here's a post that I wanted to highlight by Brad1199, who's an excellent forum member, and if anybody's out there right now who's is their first time to the forum, or maybe they've been here a few times, I certainly recommend listening to the end of this video. Uh, it explains how you can register uh, for the forum and you can come on and ask questions and Brad1199 is an excellent uh, forum member uh, to sort of follow if you will and ask some questions and uh, Brad might be kind enough to answer them. So anyway, Brad's speaking about the Euro Pound here and this is one of the benefits uh, of the forums. Um, it, here's a trade with the, the Euro Pound. There's also a, a trade that he posted uh, above here if you scroll up uh, where he actually had a set, he was stopped out for a 70 pip gain uh, trying to, to, if you will, pick a top here on the Euro Pound. And, and again, one of the benefits of the forum is that personally I would not look at the euro pound monthly chart but Brad obviously has it up right here in his post he sees a shooting star on that monthly chart so what I might do now with this information is I might you know look at it a little bit loosely and then try and find my own trade based on it and also he's speaking about the uptrend line here so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my own charts and look for my own levels and here's a trend line um, th that I've added to the chart and also this horizontal line which is the 8840 area and let's zoom in a little bit and see where prices are right now in relation to these lines um, and right now we can see they're about 30 to 40 pips above this 8840 area and actually just resting above the uptrend line so moving forward now uh, you know Brad's an excellent trader and and a lot of times he's right in terms of these you know large reversals or you know that that, that occur you know very infrequently but he, but he seems to be spot on with them so I'm gonna go ahead and, and look uh, for short trades possible places where I can enter so looking at this chart now what I would look for is 
is a daily close beneath that 88.40 area. Certainly, and, and if that occurs, that would also mean a daily close beneath this longer term uptrend line. So that's what I'd be waiting for right now. A big mistake uh, that newer traders might have is they might look at Brad's advice and, you know, if he, he was right in the past, they might not even pay attention that he's flat right now. And they might just jump in on the short side, prices might rally, which they very well might considering uh, the support that we have here. So what I'm going to do is keep these levels up throughout the rest of the week and again, wait for a close beneath that 88.40 area. At that point, I might look to enter on the opposite side and then place my stock back above the 8840 area. Again, my name is Matt Russell. Thanks for listening and please stay tuned for a preview of the Daily FX Forums. I want to take this opportunity to formally welcome you all to the Daily FX Forums. I want to go through the process of how I personally access the forums and how maybe you at home, if you want to access the forums in the future, might do so. The first thing you would do is go to www.dailyfx.com and that will bring up obviously dailyfx.com and usually there on the upper right hand corner I'll go ahead and click on where it says forum and that will bring up the first page of the forums and this this view I personally don't use this view but this view actually shows you uh, the most recent posts uh, on all the threads within the different sections and a little detail about those posts so uh, you can read through and see if there's something you know catches your interest uh, but personally I go ahead and just click on forums and and view them in the more traditional sense now these are different threads within the forum there's a section on education such as daily FX course instructor tips which would be good for newer traders and then for more advanced traders and I just want to go ahead you know personally the way I use the forums is I would go through the individual threads uh, just looking for trade ideas maybe looking at charts looking at certain lines that maybe I didn't put up on my chart but but another trader might have put up on their chart uh, I, I I tend to, you know, shy away from using direct trade recommendations from other forum members, but it, it helps me to um, sort of even out my analysis, make sure that I'm that I'm seeing things, uh, you know, with a with the right mind in terms of, you know, I might be missing stuff that other traders can see, and that that's, you know, my personal way of using the forum. You know, every trader is going to be a little bit different in how they use it. So, if you want to ask questions, if you want to become an active participant of the members you would have to go ahead and register. So that's what I'm going to go through now is the registration process. So assuming you're brand new to the forums or maybe you've been here a few times and you're not really sure how it works. So I just want to walk through again uh, the registration process. Uh, this would be the front page uh, where, where you would access or the previous page. You'd have the same little box here on the left hand side. Obviously, my username and password are already filled out here. But assuming you're a new member, you would click on where it says register and that will bring up the registration page. If you give me one moment here while my browser loads. And actually first uh, we're going to have uh, some terms of service uh, and daily effects form rules. I do suggest reading through the, the forum rules. Um, obviously, you know, profanity and spam and things like that are not allowed, uh, but it also gives you insight on, you know, how to act, how to use the forum and how different traders can use it, uh, you know, in terms of their individual needs. So you would go down to the bottom there, you'd click on where it says, I have read all the rules, and then you would go ahead to the register, uh, the, the formal registration page, and that will bring up here and you can go ahead and select the username and how about we'll use 4x and that name is already in use uh, so maybe add a few more x's there um, again it really you know your, your individual username is up to you and you go ahead and fill in your password your email address now the most difficult aspect of registration for the daily FX forms will be figuring figuring out these letters uh, in the box here now I'm a semi intelligent person uh, but I have a very difficult time figuring out which letters and numbers to use now there is there is a reason uh, for this madness uh, it helps with security uh, but I would suggest just going going ahead and keep on clicking that refresh image until something comes through that you can actually identify and see uh, then you can go ahead and enter your birthday but you can decide whether or not uh, to to display that to other forum members and then also if you were referred by somebody you can enter that information there the time zone that should default to your computer but you should you know double check and make sure and then you can opt in uh, and I would get, you know suggest opting in for these emails in terms if the administrators want to go ahead and send you some notices about the form and then you would complete registration uh, now what happens is they would send you an email uh, to the email address that you put up here and that email will include a link and all you would have to do is go ahead and click on that link and that link will bring you inside the forum and you would now be a member of the daily effects forums again this is matt russell thanks for listening